the Joe Rogan experience. Yeah, that's uh, the the emotional side of fighting, like the emotional side of losses. Like when you see guys just weeping in their locker room, and like remember, <clears throat> the, the hardest one for me was Aldo after McGregor knocked him out, mm -hmm. and he was just in his locker room just weeping, like God damn that dude. That's a tough one too, because you know that's that's gonna stay like an in infamy. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, forever. And, and Always. Connor's probably the worst guy because he's gonna tell everybody about it. And everybody's gonna want to cover it and. That's well, just the way it goes. It was such a picture perfect punch, too. Yeah, I mean, and he slides back, boom, drops that left hand in there. I was in the crowd and I was, I was told I was getting the winner of that fight. And then when it went down like that, I just knew that wasn't going to happen. <laughs> really? Yeah, I just felt it like ah, uh, I thought I thought Aldo was going to win. Back then, we didn't Did know you really? we didn't know much about Connor. I feel like at that point, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, so I thought Aldo was going to win and I was going to get a rematch with him. And then when, when, my, when Connor did that and then you hear him talking about, go, I'm going to go up to 55. I'm like, damn, there goes my mm. chance. <laughs> yeah. That, the, uh, the Aldo fight was crazy because I think that was the first time that anybody ever really disrespected Aldo because yeah. Aldo was the fucking man for so long. I mean, he, and the crazy thing about Aldo is he's still only 32 years old. Yeah. Like we were talking about that with the Marlon fight. Right. Which is he though? Is he really? No, yeah. you know, yeah, no. What do you think? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> well, they've been following him since the WEC. Yeah, I, I mean, I he was like twenty then, so yeah. he kind of has to no, be yeah. thirty-two. <laughs> I mean, he was WEC champion a long he was. fucking time he was. ago, man. Yeah, you know, I mean, you go back and think about when he knocked out Cub Swanson with that flying knee. That was a long time ago. It was like a double knee, right? Yes, yeah. 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 boom, yeah. Dude, he was so fucking athletic, man, explosive. Like, I don't know what. When did he stop throwing leg kicks? I don't know, man. I, I wonder. Don't. I would like to ask him. I wonder if like he's got injuries or something like that. Maybe I know shins when are we fought up. the first time, he threw a leg kick, and then I took him down on it on the second one, and then he stopped. That's the last time he threw a leg kick in both our fights. It's crazy because if you watch his early career, like watch the Uriah Faber fight. It is one of the most horrific displays of destroying someone's leg you've ever seen in a fight. Yeah. It's so fast, dude. Oh, man. Just no loading, just No, yeah, yeah that's yeah. the thing. No loading. He would just, just whip those hips in right. there. Well, you know, he was a soccer player, like a really good soccer player. Right. Have you ever seen videos of him play soccer? I see him juggle the ball and whatnot. Dude, he's like a pro. Like, yeah. like he could have been a professional right, soccer heard, player. Yeah. And I think soccer players, first of all, their legs are so conditioned because they're doing all the, they're basically sprinting all the time. They're running they run up like and running back. like six miles a game, I heard. Yeah. Or and they're going left and right and left and right. They're always side to side. Like they apparently have the highest instances of ACL blowouts. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Oh, yeah. But because of those legs, you know, Aldo just, he was like a whip. Those legs would just crack. That's why I thought when him and Marlon were going to fight, I'm like, ooh, we're going to see some I crazy know. leg kicks. But neither of them really, you know, got him off. I wonder. I wonder why Aldo stopped throwing leg kicks. I really wonder. I like wonder. I mean, he's had got to really be something. Success he's got to be hands. something, right? You know, some injury. Yeah, yeah, maybe a hip injury. You know, yeah, could be. A lot of those kickboxer guys, as they get older, their hips start falling apart. You know, it's a, it seems to be a big issue with some guys. Like John Wayne Parr needs a hip replacement. Right. Yeah. I mean, he just had his last fight. He won in a boxing match. Yeah, and I saw that, which is great. That, yeah. Huge for him. He's the man, dude. He's, he's such a good guy to follow. Yeah. He's, he's such awesome. a good energy. Good. Yeah. Such a positive dude. And so is his, his whole family. He's just like he's just oh, a, yeah, a his, great. His daughter's happy dude. got like thirty fights already. His daughter's or a beast. <laughs> yeah. She's yeah. a beast, man. I think she's like fourteen now. It's she's crazy. a beast. It's crazy. Yeah, he's he's something special. But that poor guy, he's been fighting over the last year or two with a really fucked up hip. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's falling apart, man. They're like, you got to have a hip replacement. The whole inside is just torn apart. All right. So I'm not looking forward to the future, man. <laughs> I'm just, you know what I'm looking forward to? The future with regenerative well, medicine. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, you had stem cells. I had, I had some stem cells in my shoulder. Yeah, we that, talked about that, that yeah, in Jersey yeah, where I yeah, saw yeah. Yeah. But you. But you don't give it enough time. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> the thing about the stem cells is it really takes like four or five months before it actually right. kicks in right. and starts healing things. And a lot of guys like yourself, I mean, you you don't you don't gather any dust. No, uh -uh. You ain't waiting for shit. Chopping out the bit, man. <laughs>